Last year was the warmest year on record, according to a report by the EU's Copernicus Climate Change Service. It says global temperatures in 2023 reached levels averaging close to one and a half degrees above pre-industrial levels, which scientists say is the tipping point for reducing the worst damage from climate change. Its report highlighted other record-breaking conditions, including last July, the hottest month on record. Well, for more on this, our environment correspondent Correspondent George Lee is here. George, we knew it was warm, but not that warm. Well, that's right. And I think what the Copernicus people, this is the EU Climate Service, what they said today is that even the experts in this area were taken by surprise by how warm last year it was. You can see in terms of the, the temperatures, uh, this particular graph behind us will show us for each month as we go through the year, where it's red, it's hotter than normal, where it's blue, it's cooler than normal. You can just see it getting warmer and warmer until you get to that second part of the year when all of the records were broken in every single month. What they're saying is that on average throughout last year, the temperature for the globe was 14.98 degrees. Or, 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 yeah, and so that, that is a significantly higher. It's 1.48 higher than it would have been in pre-industrial times. Now, you know the target is 1.5 degrees to keep temperature below that. So they're saying that this was really unusual. The rise in the temperature was much higher than anybody has ever seen before, it, you know, from one year to another. The same part of the reason for that were things like this El Nino effect, which which was a phenomenon in the South Pacific, which, uh, which, which Pacific Ocean, which, which aggravates increases in temperature, and also, believe it or not, changes in terms of the pollution in the atmosphere from shipping, which took a lot of soot out, and that causes this extra global warming because it's not blocking out the sun. It's a kind of unusual thing that and other factors, but ultimately, it's about the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They said it's 419 parts per million. We had 280 parts per million in pre-industrial times, and we're way up and they're saying that this whole thing is now unprecedented and they're calling for a radical rethink about because history isn't going to tell us where we are now. The director of the Copernicus uh, 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 organisation is a guy called uh, Dr Carlo Buantempo and he had this to say. In all likelihood we have just been through the warmest year of our history and quite possibly one of the warmest or the warmest of the last hundred thousand years. I really would like this to sing with you. This basically means that our cities, our roads, our monuments, our farms, in practice all human activities, never had to cope with a climate this warm. There were simply no cities, no books, agriculture, or domesticated animals on this planet last time the temperature was so high. And so that's why the Copernicus organization is saying we need to rethink. We have no rule book for how this is going to go. It's, it's taken um, the experts by surprise. They're saying the big thing is the amount of energy coming from the sun is not matching the energy going out. In other words, we're locking it in because of carbon being in the atmosphere. And they say it's absolutely essential. We have to balance that or we're in completely uncharted ter territory. And so they're looking for a rethink and they're particularly concerned about how fast this is changing.